This experiment should only be performed under the supervision of a trained professional. Hi, I'm Dave with VisiHow, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the coke and chlorine experiment. The materials that you'll need for this project are a bottle of coke, a glass container, and some chlorine shock. It's really important to note that the chlorine shock needs to be in granule form, meaning don't use the disc. If you have chlorine discs, you'll need to break them up into really, really fine granules. It just takes a lot longer, so I recommend the granule form of the chlorine shock. Step one, you're going to fill your glass container up with some coke. Next, pour your chlorine shock into the container of coke. We're going to step it up a notch by pouring in some more chlorine this time. We're going to try one last time, pouring into the Coca-Cola bottle itself. You can probably notice that using the glass container was much more effective than using the plastic bottle during this experiment. It's also a better idea to use the glass container since the plastic gets very, very hot during this reaction. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video.